guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some sugar daisies. I'm going to stick them on a buttercream cake. Let's begin. I almost forgot to say guys, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos like these. So I'm going to start by making the daisies and I'm going to make these using some flour paste. So I want to roll it out nice and thin and I'm just using some plunger daisy cutters for this. I've got an assortment of sizes. Now with them being plastic, they don't always cut very well. So give them a good kind of press down on your mat to avoid getting too many sort of scruffy torn edges with them. You do really want to use a flour paste or a gum paste so that you can roll it really thin without it breaking too easily. Although the daisies are, are fairly fragile, I still managed to snap off quite a few petals. Now, you don't need all these tools, but anything like this that's a bit rounded or a bit curved at the end, you can use to just go over your petals and thin them out. I'm also stretching them out a little bit when I'm doing this. And I've got these on a foam pad rather than a hard work surface. If you want more detail and you can add little lines, sort of little veining lines with the pointy end of your Dresden tool. You don't have to do this though. I'll be honest, I thought it was a bit time consuming and I didn't bother with it again after this one. Using a more curved ended tool, so like the other end of your Dresden tool, or again, you could just use a balling tool. I'm starting at the far end of the petal and I'm kind of pulling that up. So I'm dragging it along the petal and it causes it to curve upwards a little bit. So the balling tool at first is just really thinning those petals out. You just have to be careful you don't pull them too thin that you tear them. If you find your flower paste is a little bit sticky, just put a bit of corn flour down as well. Mine was okay without. And I'm going to double layer up this big daisy here. So I'm going to stick two together now. I'm just using water to press them together, but you can use edible glue if you prefer. And for the middles, which I realized I didn't really film in the center of the screen, so it's difficult for you to see, I've just taken a ball of yellow colored modeling paste and I just sort of pressed it into it with cocktail sticks. Now you can actually buy um, flower centers that you just press the paste into kind of the mold for the flower center and it's really good for daisies and things like that. And that is really good, but I just couldn't find where I'd put mine. So I just decided I was gonna stab it with a cocktail stick many times instead, which is way more time consuming. So we're just gonna do the same with all our other little daisies. And you don't have to double layer them up, guys, if you don't want to. It just gives me a fuller looking flower. And also if I knock some of the petals off by accident, it's less obvious because I had more on there to start with. And just be careful when you are pressing indentations into the middle of the flowers that you don't break the petals off while you're doing that. If you want to hold them into a shape where they kind of stick up a little bit more, the petals stay upright a little bit more, you can put them in anything kind of ring shaped. Like I made myself a little yellow ring that's hollow in the middle that I could put the, the flower into to hold it. So for some of them, like the smaller ones, I've tended to just leave them with one layer. So it's just one of those kind of cut out things. And then where they're a little bit bigger, I've double layered them up. And if you want thinner petals, you can cut them in half. So on this one here, you'll see I've sliced it in half so that each petal creates two petals. The only thing is they do become far more fragile when I do this. Like I think they look nice. But I definitely broke quite a few of these. And of course, the number of daisies you make is entirely up to you. I also apologize if you can hear the dog snoring in the background, guys. He's, uh, he's quite a big snorer. Again, let's pop a middle into there like so. So you can see on this one, I managed to snap off some petals before I'd even got it into like my little holder for it. And if you want any loose little petals to stick on the cake, just cut them off one of your daisies and then try and get them to sort of curve upwards using the end of your Dresden tool. And we'll just leave them to one side to dry. And we can put them on the cake so that like they've just kind of fallen off the flowers. Just gonna make sure I've got middles in them all. It's easier to put the middles on at this stage rather than when they're on the cake. And once they've had time to firm up, you can add a little bit of a different shade of yellow if you want, you don't have to. Just makes them that a little bit more realistic. I realize mine are not particularly realistic looking daisies. But if I go for a more orangey color edible powder to just put around sort of the edge of the yellow center, and I'm not too worried if it goes onto my petals a little bit. I just think it looks that a little bit nicer. So you can see the difference between the ones that I have done and haven't done. You could even go on there with a little bit of green if you want. Be extra careful around those petals. So for the cake itself, I'm gonna use a green buttercream, I think. So I'm just using some color mill to color it up. I did use the mint green, but I think I want it a little bit more yellow. So I've added a bit of lemon color to it as well. 
And I think I'll do a pink as well that we maybe use between the layers. So I'm using a candy pink. Again, I'm just using the Color Mills for coloring my buttercream. And what I'll do guys is link everything I've used below the video. So all the tools and equipment. I do sell a lot of these things because I do have a cake decorating store online. So they will link you to my website. You don't have to buy from me, but um, you can see the products that I've used anyway. So I've layered up my cakes. You'll see some are slightly bigger than others. I'm going to even them out a bit with the buttercream around the outer edge. So the pink has gone between the layers and the green is going to go all on the outside edge. And I'm just using a small palette knife for that. The first layer is just the crumb coat. So you're going to scrape around with a scraper just to smooth it off. This is the first layer. This will go in the fridge, maybe for about 20 minutes, just to firm it up. And then we can do exactly the same thing with our second layer. And again, that second layer is going to need a smooth over. And the good thing about this is the daisies are fairly lightweight, so we don't need anything to stick them in place. You, they will just stick straight into the buttercream as long as you put the, on the cake while the buttercream is still soft and fresh. And you can put in some of those loose petals as well. You can either stand them in the top of your cake. Let's put some down here. I'm going to try and cluster them mainly to one side on this one. Oh yeah, I've been working out, guys, because I go on holiday tomorrow. <laughs> All finished. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Let me know what you'd like to see me make for the next video. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell to get notified every time I add a new video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.